Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the final walkthrough of my interactive Q album. So let's take a look. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well. I am here with the final reveal of the interactive Cube mini album that we worked together on the online class. And this is a class that I offer once a month for online classroom members. So I hope that you guys uh, join along and come craft with me. So this time we made this interactive cube which i think turned out super super fun i was kind of um inspired by the previous let me show you here cube that i created a couple years ago so i wanted to make something similar but um still have their own little layouts um so yeah so super super fun let me put this one on the side so before i show you the box first let me tell you guys that i have missed you so much i am in the middle of a move as you probably already know and i haven't been really crafting um besides the life class i probably haven't crafted for a couple of weeks so i am going to be back really soon with more videos and tutorials for you guys i just have to do a little bit of a catch up <laughs> finish up organizing i have been doing a lot of this stashing as you might have seen and so it's just a lot going on but I can't wait to um, just continue my normal crafting, I guess. I have missed it so, so much. And so anyway, so let's take a look at this book now. So this box measures six by six by six. And so over here we have some beautiful flowers. These are all uh, wild orchid craft flowers. And then we have one of the chipboard pieces that come with this paper collection. And when you open up the top of the box, we have these pop-up elements. So it's kind of like a fun um, Jack in the Box inspired page. And then of course you can put little pictures in there and then you have um, I'm using the uh, 4x6 journaling cards that come with this collection and I think that looks really nice. Um, so now let me show you this side here. So again, another one of those 4x6 cards. And then this page or this side opens up like that. And then we have another one of those images. And this is actually a rolling page. So you pull this and you can add pictures on each one of these spaces and it's quite long as you can see and then you just roll this back in place which i think it turned out super cool <laughs> and then on this other side is another one of the four by six cards and then this opens down let me open this and we have a cute little pop-up section on this side and then of course you can put a picture down here or you can add a little white card with like a dedication if you're making this for someone and i just love how this turned out here with the um, background elements they're so cute so we have a two-dimensional um, space in there and then on and this side here again with the beautiful paper collection it says garden goddess this opens up i didn't cover all of the spaces just yet and then over here we have a little booklet which uh, you can just add pictures in there and then on the back i did put a beautiful image from this paper collection and then on this other side we have an accordion fold so another one of these images and then this piece will pull out also but this is an accordion and again i did not cover the paper because pictures will just go right in there 
and it does have quite a lot of magnets in there as well so this was our fun little project from saturday life class so the life classes are the third saturday of every month at 5 p.m pacific standard time and it stays recorded so you can come back and watch it over and over again and even if you can't make it to the class you can also come back and um, watch it. You have to do is select a little join button underneath this video. If you are on a mobile phone or a cell phone, uh, it, might not, it might not show. So you have to sign up using your laptop or your computer. But then you can definitely um, follow the class from your phone anywhere you are. And yeah, so I'm excited for the next one. I'll definitely be back with some more fun um, tutorials for you guys and I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.